Hello everyone, how to solve for x in this exponential equation? So let's get started. I think the best idea to start with this problem is to use substitution method. We can go ahead and then write each term in terms of 2 to the power x to the power 2. So let's start. We have 2 to the power x to the power 2 plus, we can write this as 2 to the power x to the power 2 all squared is equal to, we can also write this as 2 to the power x to the power squared or cube. Then from here we will let m equal to 2 to the power x to the power 2 so that the equation now becomes m, m squared is equal to m cubed. Then from here we equate everything to 0 so we will have m cubed minus m squared minus m is equal to 0. This is a cubic equation. Some of you may like to use the cubic formula to solve this one, but I think we can take m out and then solve it, right? So we can have m times m squared minus m minus 1 is equal to 0. So from here we can say that m is equal to 0 or m squared minus m minus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's pay attention to this value of m. Initially we let m equal to 2 to the power x to the power 2. So from this equation we can have 2 to the power x to the power 2 is equal to 0. Now the truth is that this equation cannot be solved because if you try to manipulate the value of x you will never get zero. You can try it on your own. So you don't worry yourself here. This equation cannot be solved. Now let's pay attention to this quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and then use the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, right? We have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 1, and then c is equal to minus 1 as well. So the value of m could be calculated as minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 or divided by 2 times 1. Now let's see, negative, negative will be positive, so we have 1 plus or minus, this will also be 1, then minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, that will be positive 4, plus this one making 5. So in everything we will get m is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. So what does it mean? It means that m is either 1 plus root 5 on 2 or m is 1 minus root 5 on 2. But remember we let m equal to 2 to the power x to the power 2. So from here we will have 2 to the power x to the power 2 is equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now let's introduce log in base 2 on each side of the equation. So we will have log in base 2 of 2 to the power x squared is equal to log in base 2 of 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now from log, the exponent becomes the leading number. So we're going to have x squared times, now we have log in base 2 of 2, which is 1, right? So we have x squared is equal to log in base 2 of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. We are looking for x and not x squared. So what we will do is we will take square root on each side of the equation. But remember we have plus or minus here. So this squared and this will go. We have x is equal to plus or minus square root of log in base 2 of 1 plus root 5 over 2. So if you use calculator for this, you get two values of x. On the positive side, we will have x is equal to 
zero point eight three three two one one eight one then the negative side you get x i mean approximately right is not the exact value it's approximated value so you have the negative side we have negative 0 0.8332118 so these are the values of x now let's come to this equation now from this value of m because of this negative root 5 it will make everything negative but remember 2 to the power x to the power 2 is always greater than 0 it is positive right since everything here is negative, it means you end up getting complex solution of which we are not interested. So the values of x to the problem is this and then this. So you can go ahead and then plug these values into the original equation to see whether they satisfy the equation. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video in an hour time. Bye bye.